I'm here today to show you how quick and simple it is to post a job using the Simply Hired platform. So once you've logged into your account, click the post a job button here to the right. The first step is populating the job info section. You will complete the job title, whether it's a physical location or a remote location, the minimum experience required, as well as the salary range, either hourly or annual salary. Step two is to complete the job description. Now it's really simple to just copy and paste your job description from a Word document or a Google Doc file. So what's really cool about this feature is once I've copy and pasted my job description into the box, we are going to recommend, based on our recommendations, what your post quality is. Of course, you're aiming for 100 points, but you can look at our different recommendations in order to get a higher post quality. We've also added some recommendations of what you might want to add to your job description to make it easier for you. Improving your post quality is going to help you attract quality candidates in the long run. Step three is to auto qualify. We have created screener questions for you to sort through and decide if you would like to add to your job posting. For example, would you like a cover letter required? What about their level of education? So you can sort through these and select which screener questions you'd like your applicants to answer. You can also set up custom screener questions. Now this makes it really easy to sort through your candidates and see who's qualified or not. For example, for my digital marketer position, I'd like to know how many years of SEO experience the candidate it has. So then I'll decide how they're going to answer. They're going to answer by years and I'm going to add this question. So now every candidate that applies to my digital marketer job needs to answer this question. In the long run, this is really going to help save you time as you sort through applicants and decide who's really qualified or not. The more specific you can get, the better you can qualify your candidates. Let's move on to step four. Step four is to set up a workflow. Now this isn't required of you when you first post a job, but it will save you a lot of time in the long run. So let's set up a quick workflow for my job. I would like my candidates to be informed that I am awaiting to review their application once they submit their application. Sometimes I'm not able to get back to my candidates right away, but I want them to know that I'm going to look at their application. During the awaiting review process, I can set up a new event that sends the candidate it's an email letting them know that I am going to reach out to them. I will send from my email. I want to send it to my applicant and I want to send now. I've easily added a quick step to my workflow that's going to save me time in the long run. Finally, step five. Now this is a really cool feature. If you have other members of your staff or team involved in the hiring process, you can easily invite them to your hiring team. I'm going to have my manager be a part of my hiring team. So now I've just sent an email to my manager to be an interviewer. You can set up specific roles, whether they're the hiring manager so they can edit jobs, reveal and edit applicants, or they could be an interviewer like I just added, where they update applicant profiles and leave interview feedback, or of course, just a reviewer where they review candidates as the candidates come in. And that's it. I've just posted a job. Now I'll quickly review it to make sure it sounds and looks exactly how I want it to. I'll hit publish, but remember, you're not paying for anything yet. As candidates come in, you can decide which candidates you'd like to pay for based on the ones that are qualified, the ones that you want to reach out to. So your work here is done. You've posted your job and now it's time to see all of the candidates apply.